Yo, so guys, your boy Kyoji here. I was looking at my TV then for the webcam, but there you guys are, so, yeah. What's up, guys? Your boy Kyoji here, and today we're going to be doing some Black Ops 3. I actually haven't done this for a little bit. I have, I've been sort of slacking on the Black Ops 3 content, not going to lie. Not really been playing the game much. I think I've said this before in other videos. We have got everyone in the center. I'm not sure whether they're a team and they're doing that on purpose. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to do some TDM here. Um, my game, well, my Xbox in particular, is extremely frame rated right now. Like, it's insane, the, the sort of feedback I'm getting. Looking at my, like, my Elgato right now, my game capture device, and seeing, like, you know, the comparison between, you know, what I'm seeing in game and how frame rated that is compared to, like, the recording. And the recording looks fine. So you guys probably aren't going to notice a difference. Hopefully it looks all good to you guys. Um... It's just, on my one, it's, ah, it's not nice. It's not looking nice right now. Um, yeah, where is everyone? Probably at the back, so I'm going to go around the side here. And yeah, it looks fine on, fine on the recording, so hopefully it's not a problem, guys. Sorry about that, if it is. Really sorry. I don't know why it's messing up for me, my Xbox, but, um, maybe I haven't played it in a while, that's why. Who knows? Um... But it's a Friday today, thankfully. End of the week. Got work tomorrow, but work's not too bad. Not too bad. It burns a couple of hours of my day, and I get paid at the end of it, so... You know, there's positives there. And, uh, get, get destroyed there. Flying. Flying attack. Flying, uh, flying hazard. I'm a flying hazard. Um, and we're gonna kill... Oh, we'll get, get the assist on you. Around there. Okay, so... Um, what was I going to say today? Well, recently, actually, literally just yesterday, I found this YouTube channel. Basically, I was on, um, my Facebook, and I like this, um, League of Legends page, because, you know, I like League of Legends. And, um, they shared a video of, like, well, there's one of the champions in the game called Master Yi, and basically, he has this massive sword which has, like, rings all over it, and it's, it's pretty awesome. It's a pretty damn cool sword. And they linked this video of this company. I can't remember what they're called, but I know what their, their, their you know their show is. But basically, they like remade the sword, like in, you know in in real life, because they're like you know proper like high end blacksmiths, and I think they've done stuff for like different you know props of films and maybe games. I'm not sure. Well, you know now they are, um, and like it's so good. So the, the program's called a um, Man at Arms Reforged, I think Man at Arms, and oh my god, if you guys. If you guys even have a slight interest in video games, I'd recommend watching it because it's just so interesting seeing, like, you know, they make, you know, all these different sort of, like, swords and stuff from different games. They got, like, three or so videos, I think, from League of Legends. Um, they did the one weapon from Dragonborn, I know I saw, from... And then they did um, Silent Hill uh, Pyramid Heads, his long, like, sort of dagger, I think they called it, but it's, it's basically, like, a huge sword. Um, you know, and they do all these videos of them making it, going through all the step-by-step -step stuff, and it's like, it's pretty impressive. It is pretty impressive seeing how they make, you know, these giant swords and weapons, which, you know, are pretty iconic in games, you know. With Master Yi sword, you're like, oh, you know, you play League of Legends, you're just like, yep, well, you know, you know Master Yi, and you, you know, you know his sword sort of thing. Um, and you know, with, um, Bloodborne, there's like the one weapon, which I've not even played the game. Um, but I've seen the sword and I'm like, oh, it's so, it's like mechanic, like, you know, it's mechanized this. I think it like, has like a latch thing. Anyway, it's, it's really cool. You guys, I really recommend you guys watch the program. They got like a bunch of episodes, you know, they're like, you know, it's something like 10 minute long videos. But they got like a bunch of them on YouTube. So if you guys want to definitely check them out, it's, it's pretty entertaining, pretty entertaining. Uh, so I've been doing that a bunch. I've probably killed like three hours just <laughs> going around and watching all these different videos. Of these different weapons being made. Um, you there. You're gonna die. There we go. Uh oh. Need to reload. I need a. Uh, can I get that? Oh, two bullets. No. It's not gonna happen. Let's go on the side here. I think I'm doing pretty well considering it, the, uh, the frame rate issues I'm having right now. So sorry if I'm not playing as well. It's, uh, it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard to play. With it being so jumpy. Weird, really weird. Um, oh, enemy inside. There's an enemy inside here. Bang, called it, but. Yeah, he had the advantage up close. He saw him, well, 
he shot earlier as well, I think. I thought that was an enemy then. I thought that was an enemy, that guy. Um, also, something which is, which is kind of sad to hear. Um, if you guys know League of Legends, um, well, the Team H2K and the European team, you know, European um, side, they've been doing, like, a really, really good this season. They're, like, third, I think, which, which is pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. Um, and, you know, they're on track to maybe even, you know, place, you know, even higher at the end of the season. Um, however, I think it's, I think it's the support or the AD carry. I can't remember. Both are very similar names. I think his name is Vader. You know, his, uh, you know, his in-game name is Vader. Um, he's actually, um, Greek. And a little thing, you know, popped up yesterday for him. And he's actually gonna have to be, like, deployed into the army. Because with, um, Greece, well, I know, well, I know with Cyprus, because my family's part Cypriot, um, there's actually sort of like, you're automatically signed up to join the army, you know, you, you have to go and, you know, go to the, you know, oh, was it, like, yeah, serve in the army for, like, a certain amount of time, uh, you know, just by law, you just automatically signed up for it, um, and I think he said, like, after his game, which he played yesterday, you know, like, the live matches, morning, he got a call, you know, he got a call, saying that he had to be deployed and he's going to be deployed for like nine months or something so uh, it's pretty crazy you know seeing someone you know a sort of a pretty big name in the League of Legends sort of scene um you know have to do this and you know miss out on the rest of the season etc and uh yeah I mean it's, it's kind of crazy it's kind of crazy and um you know it's pretty big especially you know in the League of Legends scene to obviously have you know, just anyone sort of, you know, had to sort of drop out for whatever reason, but especially this one, it's, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty crazy, pretty crazy, kind of a bit scary, I can imagine, having, you know, going to the, you know, um, you know, going to the army and, you know, do all that stuff, so, honestly, best wishes to that guy, um, I'm not personally a fan of H2K, um, but, I mean, like, they beat, well, yesterday, Fnatic, my team, you know, the team I support were playing against them, and they won, and then afterwards I saw on Twitter about this, and I was like, wow, like, I honestly, I honestly do not mind that we lost, because, uh, that's, it makes it sound like a bit, like, of a pity sort of thing, like, oh, you, you know, but, like, for real, you know, if he's not gonna be able to play the game for, you know, a year and stuff, he's gonna be out, you know, in the army sort of thing, so it's, it's kind of crazy, um, so yeah, him taking the win there is, you know, it's pretty fair, so, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below as always, and subscribe for daily content. I've been your boy Kildred, and I'm out guys. Peace. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No, no. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Alright then. I don't know what the fuck oh just God. happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs>